years, I've had an issue with small black gnats infesting both my indoor and outdoor potted plants. I've tried fungicidal soap, dishwashing liquid, white vinegar, etc., to no avail. How do I get rid of and prevent these infestations in the future? This is Ed Winter from Memphis, Tennessee. So Celeste, mm -hmm. she's tried the fungicidal soap, dishwashing liquid, vinegar. Okay. To no avail. No avail. So what is this that we're talking about, you think? Okay, sounds like fungus gnats I to me. I would agree with that. Okay. I would agree. Um, so there are a few things, even before I would, you know, reach out to any type of uh, fungicide or, or insecticides or chemicals or right. anything okay. like that. Okay. Let's really focus on um, the conditions because that is what is conducive mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the replication of these fungus gnats, mm -hmm. okay? So more moist soil. Is, would be something that I would want to try to get away from. Uh, that they lay yes. their, you know, larva right at the surface mm -hmm. of that moist soil, and if the soil uh, is allowed to dry out periodically, those larvae might have been laid. But if the soil surface dries, they can't develop. Right. So <clears throat> making sure that we're not overwatering. That's the key. Yes, yes. And just allowing time for that moisture level, you know, to fluctuate, drop, and we don't want to keep them constantly moist all the time. So that would be my number one. Number two would be uh, making sure that we're, you know, starting with clean soil. Mm -hmm. So um, try not to reuse soil that you know has been infested, right. you know, with fungus gnat larvae in the past. Those would be my two suggestions. Those are my two as well. Yeah. Oh, good. So, yeah, if you keep that so moist, uh, yeah, you're going to have problems with that. I and mean, we usually get questions about this all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes, let that soil dry out. Uh, Early in spring when folks are trying to get their seeds started mm -hmm. indoors. Indoors. And they yes. don't want to let those seedlings dry out, which, you know, it's important. But um, at the same time, if we, if we keep them too wet, that's when you start to see the development of Because they're going to breed and now. develop in moist soils, mm -hmm. right? So let that soil dry out. Now, would you use anything like insecticidal soap or anything like that? Um, I never have. Okay. But, I haven't either. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I haven't. I don't see why an insecticidal soap wouldn't, you know, provide some benefit in that type sure. of situation. Um, but really, just cultural Right. Practices. I would agree with that. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. We have hundreds of family plot videos for you to view.